Dear friends, using the internet is a necessity nowadays. When we surf websites on the internet, we do navigate from one web page to another, and this is made possible by the most important feature of internet, which is called the hyperlink. Dear viewers, you are watching Dev's Coding Hub, and in our today's video, we are going to cover the concept of hyperlink. Let us see how hyperlink works. Suppose in this Yahoo website, we have a hyperlink called cricket. When I point to cricket, my cursor changes to a hand sign. And if I click, I will be redirected to the Yahoo cricket web page. This is how a hyperlink takes me to another web page. So let's start. First, we will know what is hyperlink. Hyperlink is a unidirectional link from a web page to another web page or to a resource like image, audio or video or to another section of the same web page. You can say it is the glue that binds the web pages and websites on the www. Hyperlink is created in a web page by using A or anchor tag. So let us see what are the different types of hyperlinks you can create in a web page. First one is local link. It is a link from one web page to another within the same website. Second one is global link. It is a link from one web page to another outside the website. Third one is internal link. It is a link from one section to another within the same web page. It is also known as named anchor. Now let us see how we can create a local link. Suppose this is the first page and this is page 1 and from this page 1 we have a link to the second page. If I click on this link, I will be taken to the second page which is page 2 and from second page I can again come back to the first page by clicking on the first page link. So if I click here, I will be taken back to the first page again. So let us create the local link. Let us save the page as page one dot htm generate the page title should be link page one as it is showing and in the body part I'll write this is the first page we'll take a break to the next line and then to hyperlink we have to write go to to indicate to which page we are going and then we write the anchor tag. The anchor tag takes one attribute called href. href stands for hyperlink reference. It gives the URL of the resource we are linking. So in this case, we will be linking page 2. We haven't created the page 2 yet, but still we will specify the name because we will be creating the page 2 later on. So let us write page 2.htm and then what to link? To link, we have to write the text second page. So if I link the second page by writing second page as a link text, this particular text will be hyperlinked. So whatever is inside anchor opening and anchor closing will be hyperlinked. Now let us copy this file, its content, and create another file. We'll paste it there and we'll make it the link page 2. So the title of the page is link page 2. I'll write this is the second page. And from second page, where we can go, we can go to the first page as it is shown in the hyperlink. So we'll write first page. Now let us save this page as page 2.htm. So we finished creating two pages. Let us start from the first page. If I load this page, I'll get to see the hyperlink to second page. If I click on this, it will take me to the second page. And similarly, in the second page, if I click on this first page hyperlink, I'll go to the first page. See, when I point a hyperlink, my cursor turns to hand sign. This is the indication of a hyperlink. So we have successfully completed how to create local links. So let us now move to our next topic, which is creating a global link. Global link, as we have already discussed, is a link from one web page to another. So let us see this example. We have a page called 
globallink.htm. Here the title is link page 3 and from this page we are going to Google website. So for this we need to create another page. So let us create the page. Save the page as say global link dot htm and then we'll generate the page the title as it is showing we'll write link page 3 and in the body section we'll write go to now i want to link google so i'll write anchor tag href attribute will be given and in between anchor opening and closing i'll be writing just google so this text will be hyperlinked and the address of the google or url of the google website should be given in href which is so as i have given the address of the google website it will hyperlink the google website so let us load this page now see the title is link page 3 and we have a link to the google website now if i click on google if i have the internet connection which i have it will take me to the google website so this is how we will be creating a global link so see what we have done we have clicked on the google web page and we have been redirected to the google website so let us move to our next topic which is creating an internal link an internal link is also called the name anchor. suppose we have a page like this we want to navigate from one section of the web page to another as because if I want to navigate from top of the page to the bottom of the page, I may have to scroll a lot. So it takes time. So what we can do, we can create a named anchor or a bookmark in the web page, different section of the web page. And we can target those bookmark to link one section to another in the same web page. So if I click on this bottom section link, I'll be taken to the bottom section. And if I click on this top section, I'll be taken to this top section. So let us see how we can create an internal link. So again, I'll create a new page. I'll name this as internal link dot htm. Let us generate the page. The title is internal link. And then I'll have to write uh, heading one. In this heading one, we have written top section. This top section must be identified. Okay. So we have to put the ID attribute here. Let us put the ID attribute of the top section as T. Similarly, we have to create another section called bottom section. So I'm creating the bottom section. And the ID of this bottom section should be set to B. So I have set the bottom section as B, top section as T. And in between, I'm putting a lot of line breaks so that it comes down few pages. So as you can see, I put a lot of breaks. So now if I save this page and load, I'll be able to see that top section and bottom section are not visible in the same screen area. So I have to scroll down to go to bottom section. This is where we can use internal hyperlink. So let us come back to the code. Now as I have named or put the IDs of these sections, I can target the IDs to go to these sections. So I'll write go to again anchor tag. And in the href, I have to specify the ID of the bottom section because from top I can go to bottom. So to specify, we have to write the hash symbol in front of the section name. So we'll write hash b. And if I click on this, I'll be clicking on this text bottom section. Okay, similarly, in the bottom section part, we can write another anchor. The text to link will be top section as you can see at the left. So we'll write top section. And then we'll link hash t, which is the name of the top section. And hash is required for creating a named anchor. So if I run this page, I'll be able to see named anchor or link within the same page. So if I click on bottom section, I'll be taken to the bottom section. And if I click on the top section hyperlink, I'll be taken back to the top section. This is how you can create a link within the same web page. And it is called named anchor. So this is how you can move to the bottom section now let us move to the next topic which is using image as link suppose take this example we want to connect to flipkart and for this we have hyperlinked a picture of flipkart or logo of flipkart 
So you have written connect, then the picture or image of Flipkart. It is hyperlinked. If I click on this, I will be taken to the Flipkart website. Now let us create this page. We will save this page. We will write image link dot htm as the name of the page as the title you can see is written as working with images so we'll write working with suppose image link as we are creating image link and then in the body part we have to write connect we can make it bold as it is showing bold and then what i have to do i have to insert the image of flipkart that will be hyperlink so let us come down and create an anchor tag so this is the anchor tag and in between anchor opening and anchor closing, I'll be writing the code for the image. So code for the image is IMG SRC and the source should be a picture called flipkart dot jpg. I have already saved this picture in my folder as you can see. This picture is already there, flipkart.jpg. So I will use this picture as the hyperlink. Now if you click on this picture, I will be redirected to http colon double slash www dot flipkart dot com. So this is our website that we are going to connect. So let us run this page. Now see, if I point to flipkart, it is showing that it is a hyperlink. If I click, I will be taken to the flipkart website. So this is how we can create an image as hyperlink. Now let us move to the next topic which is hyperlinking an email. So let us see an example. Suppose this is a page. The title of the page is hyperlinking an email and there is a link to mail which is mail us. If I click on this mail us link, I will be able to mail the required address given there. Okay. So let us create a new file. Save this as email hyphen link dot htm generate the page title is hyperlinking an email then in the body part i'll create a hyperlink and the text to hyperlink is mail us okay so in the h3 attribute i'll specify an email address suppose write to us at the rate google dot com and that's because this is the email link we have to put the mail to colon in front of the email address. So this is how we can create an email link. So if I have an email client configured, okay, if I click on this mail, it will open my email client. So let us say run the page. So as you can see, we have got an email link, mail us. If I click on this, as there is no configured email, it is telling me to configure one. So we will not do that. I'll close this. So this is how we can create an email hyperlink. Now the last topic is changing the default colors of hyperlink. Suppose when I create a hyperlink, if the hyperlink is the default hyperlink, which is called the standard link or link, its default color is blue. The second type of link state is the visited link whose color is purple. If you click on a link and visit that, it will become purple. And when I click on a link, don't release my mouse button, it becomes or remains a active link. So the color of active link is red by default. So let us see how we can control these colors. To control this color, what you can do, we can suppose write another page. Let us save as link colors dot htm. Let us generate the page. Title is changing link colors. And let us create one hyperlink. The hyperlink will be just like this. Suppose I want to go to page 1, which you have already created earlier. And the link text will be page 1, suppose. Now if I load this page after saving, if I click on this link, it will take me to the page 1. But the color of the link is what? Blue. So it is called a standard link or unvisited link which is not yet visited so if i click on this i'll be redirected to page one okay so if i use the back button and come back to this page okay i'll see that this page is visited so visited color is what 
it is purple. And then if I click and hold down my mouse cursor, I'll be able to see the active link color. So the color of active link is red by default. So let us see how we can control these colors. To control this color, we have to go to body tag and write link. Suppose this time the link is going to be green. Then the visited link, V link is the attribute for changing the visited link color. Let us make this maroon and the color of the active link, which is controlled by a link attribute will be set to orange. Okay. Now let us save the page and load. As the link is already visited, I can see it as maroon, which is visited link. If I click and hold down, I'll be able to see the orange color, which is the active link color. But I'm unable to see the green color, which is the link color, as because this page is already visited. Now, to see the link color, default link color, what I can do, I can go to history, control H, and I can clear the browsing history. So I'll clear the browsing data, I'll come back and load the page again. Now see, I can see the color of the default link or standard link which is green. So this is how we can change the color of the different states of hyperlink. So that's all for today. Thanks for watching my video. Please do hit the like button and leave a comment. And don't forget to share and subscribe my channel. Thank you.